jumping quick and fast, jumping quick and fast, jumping quick and fast. We have half an hour and I'm going to head back to the studio, but I don't want to fall asleep because I just come back out of the hotel here. And I know if I ever put on my head right now, I'm not here back from me for the rest of the night. All right. So jump in quick and fast. Korea is not that thing, a quick and fast. All right. Two seconds and we're off to the races. Two seconds. Two seconds and we're off. And we are off to the races. It's not a long video, this song. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds, twenty seconds. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so let's talk about Cardi B versus Lincoln Tree Dot sampling issue um, or sampling controversy. All right. Now, according to Lincoln Tree Dot and well, I, I, I've not heard. Um, I don't hear anything from his producer, so I think the statement was put out by Lincoln Tree Dot. So what Lincoln Tree that according to the statement is saying that Cardi B sampled his track called Bang. Yeah? And it's um a similar beat that um Cardi B new song Bongo Cezanne or the same beat. That is what Lincoln um is claiming. Alright? Now the two producers, Cardi B's producer and um, Lincoln Tree that producer, they are established producers, All right? Now, there are a few things here that you have to pay attention to. I spoke about this um, previously, about using beats are samples from the internet. I'm not saying this one is um, a sample from the internet, but just throwing that out there. I have to reiterate my point. Whenever you buy a beat from a producer on the internet, if you do not buy the beat exclusively and get paperwork to support your transaction, that person can sell the beat to someone else. I heard... Um, what his name is, Byron Messiah, he talked about buying a beat on the internet for his song, Taliban. And I can only hope that after the song blew up, they went and buy the beat outright, or they did buy the beat outright before they recorded. You see? So a lot of the songs that you are hearing, yeah, because it's the new thing. The little youth, them, them now wait for a producer building a beat for them. Them just go up on the internet and buy a beat. And when they buy the beat, they go to the, the book a studio and they sing their songs and they release it. So many of the songs that you're hearing, um, you know, are, are beats that the, the, the artist bought, right? If it's not 
beats that they bought, the producers or the guys who are building, making the beats, they are buying samples. Again, if you buy a loop and you do not buy it outright and have a 100% paperwork to show that you bought the sample outright, case in point, lean on from Major Laser. You can hear this sly and rabbi bam bam sample but it's drums however the person that may you know upload that for sale that person if you want to buy it outright you have to get in contact with them and whatever you have to do the business outright you have to buy it exclusively if you do not buy that sample exclusively i can go and buy the sample and use it as well you get my point no i say all of that all of that to say this I am curious about the sample in the two songs in Lincoln Tree that song. I'm not gonna play them here because you know I don't want to get um the page. I don't want to slope the page because you know. So you can go check them out. But what I'm curious about is the sample in both songs. Yeah? And what is the main sample that I'm hearing? Bang, 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 bang. If that is a sample, it doesn't matter if Lincoln 3, that producer, used that sample as well on Lincoln's project. If the originators are the, pre the people or the persons or the company that uploaded that sample for sale. Because remember, when you're building, when you're making beats now, you, know, you can just buy a sample. You can just buy a sample on the internet. Nobody's like Steely and Cleavy. They had to come up with all the elements. Danny Brownie, Shams, Jeremy Harding used to sample as well because Playground, there are some samples on Playground. The Zim Zimmer rhythm, Nike rhythm. There are some samples. So there were some producers from back in the, the 90s, early 2000s that were sampling. However, you had producers like Steely and Cleavy and, you know, you know, John John and those producers, they played or they had people play the beat, the beats. Yeah. Even the other day, the bug rhythm, right? That Dave Kelly's bug rhythm. I was shocked when I heard a hip hop rhythm, <laughs> the same thing. I was like, I was on a plane and, I, and I'm watching a movie and the soundtrack came on and it's the bug rhythm. I was like, wow. <laughs> I, didn't know it. I thought it was an original beat. You know, all the elements were original. It's, it, at the bug rhythm, you know, based on my hearing, is the same thing. And I was like, well, I thought this was an original beat. Obviously, it was not in my, what I heard. Um, not to me. So, if that bang, 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 because that is the main similarities, yeah, with the two songs. The two songs are different drum patterns. They have a, a, a similar feel, but they are different drum patterns. You understand? If the bang, 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 bang is an original work, Lincoln Tree that has money to get. He has a case. If they can prove, or if they can prove that they bought that, if, if it's a sample, and they can prove that they bought that outright a hundred percent ownership to them well they have a case they have a nice case if they can prove that that bang 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 is an original work they have a case outside of that they have no case if it's not an original work, if they bought it off the internet and they did not buy it exclusively, they have no say. Because people, it's like Scatter Borel, and he was one of the persons that sampled um, in the early 2090s when Dance was Dance the cool dance rhythm. It's, that's Bollywood. That's a sample. That's sample. You see? 
No girl can see down by me head. In a young girl. Truth Hurts. Truth Hurts sampled Bollywood. And I went ahead and sampled Bollywood from Truth Hurts. And we cleared the original sample from the Bollywood produ- the Bollywood originators. Green Sleeve had to clear the sample. So, but it doesn't mean that nobody else cannot go and sample Cooly dance rhythm. No, that is still available if you want to go use that sample. And if you get what me, I say, so you may hear somebody come now and use but that sample, you know, and say, yo, scatter, them teeth you read him. No. Him not, him not own the sample outright. It's like a soldier, it's like a youth in the military started some production. And um, he started some production and um, he bought a beat on the internet. And he recorded me, Egyptian, a bunch of artists he recorded on the beat. And he had the beat up, up on the internet. And one day, he went on the internet and all the songs from the compilation that he did were taken down. All the songs gone. All his little money that he saved up through the military. Gone. He called me. Yo, Vegas. Da, 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 da. I said, did you buy the beat outright? Did you buy the beat exclusively? He said, no. The person sold the beat to somebody else exclusively. And the person that bought it took down all the songs off the internet. Every song. All the artists that he paid money to record, everybody, <laughs> scrub. Yep. So even in a case where Lincoln Tree that did a song first, and Cardi B now owns the sample exclusively, like you know Cardi B money tall. Is it? Are the producer? I guess he cannot be an idiot. The producer, you can't be working with Cardi B and steal a sample. Is it? That would be the stupidest thing. And he's presenting timestamp where he is claiming that they played. The, um, he produced the beat prior to Lincoln Tree that... I'm not sure if that, that can be detrimental to him if he's lying. Because the experts will be able to prove that. If he's lying, he would be so stupid. That producer would be the stupidest producer to come forward and say that he has a timestamp. And when the expert, because this is going to go to, if, if Lincoln 3 that is really going to take it to that level. You're talking about experts because this is Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? This is a major record label. This is not just Cardi B, you know, it's a major record label. You see? That she, you know, is signed to. If he's gonna lie and that is on record that he put that statement out and it's a lie, that's a problem. So I I I would be it would be baffling to me if he would do some if he did something like that. You understand? It will be baffling. But just to be clear, not because you buy a sample on the internet or your producer paid for a sample means the producer owns the sample outright. Until the producer pay for that sample outright, 100%, other people can use the sample. There are so many songs out there with samples that People are using samples, samples, drum samples, vocal samples, loops, all of that thing. You understand? Especially in the Latin market. You see? Hence the reason why um, the Steely and Cleavy estate is going after the Latino artists. Because they are proving that the samples that they've been using belong to Steely and Cleavy work or estate. That is the reason why they're going after them. You see? So whosoever 
uploaded the samples and these people bought the samples and used the samples it's like they're going to tell you that ignorance is no excuse for breaking the law that's what they're going to say in the steel and cleavage case in my opinion if steel and cleavage can prove that they originated these drums or this drum pattern it's going to be a massive payout However, we have to remember that, let me leave that alone because it's an ongoing case. Let me leave that alone. Yeah. So there you have it. So Lincoln Tree that he has a case, he and his producer, you know, they have a case. If they can prove that they own the beat outright, if it's original work, if it's a sample bang 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 and you do not own that outright you have no case and mr lincoln tree that be careful of your rhetoric or what you say speak to your lawyer because remember cardi b she will sue you for defamation so be very careful because she already clapped back according to people by calling you a dummy I heard. She's called you a dummy. That means she is very protective of her brand. You see? So be very careful. Make sure so you make sure so you're sure. So nobody make the producer tell you say, Yeah man, I me mean, own it, man. And you just take it lightly and just say, Yeah man, you own it. Get it in writing from the producer. You see? That he did not sample anything. He bought the sample outright if there is a sample or if there is a if there is something, a voice, make him can show you documentation or you know, some form of means how he created the sample. You know, like some people use the mouth to make a sample, bang, 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 bang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, be very careful because you don't want to try to go after the money and it costs you money and remember cardi b will hunt you down worse if you're living in america cardi b will send the, the man and come 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 for her money she don't play with her brand she protective of her brand it's a message she her ears is to the internet she don't make nothing pass her you see and sister cardi b just in case by any chance you may come across this. You have to also make sure that your producer is not lying to you, sister. Make sure you... And if your producer is lying to you, make sure you find link and three dot and the producer from early and settle the score. You see? Because I... I, I, I actually came across a track that Cardi B jumped on it wasn't her track right but it was a track that she jumped on where they sampled akon you see they sampled akon remix and cardi b is on the track you see however when i heard the sample i reached out to the pro the, the person that produced the beat or created the beat for, that the Akon song was remixed on. And if you understand me, I say, Akon, they remixed that Akon song on Sean Paul's temperature beat. Alright? Now, Sean Paul's temperature beat, that beat was created by a little youth named Isis and he um, gave it to Snow Cone and they co-own the rights of it. Now Cardi B, she jumped on the song with the, the Akon sample but under the Akon sample, the remix, under the Akon's remix is the temperature beat. So I reached out to the producer and the producer did not know anything about it. 
Muzey. The man who built the building never knew nothing about it. Muzey. I then reached out to the artist camp. Right? And told them they have to link up with the necessary people and sort it out. Unfortunately, the youth got himself in problem and he's now in prison. So I don't know. The song died. The song was on its way to be a big monster hit. And the youth, you know, got himself in problems and he's in prison. You know, based on the last time I, I, I checked on the situation. So the song died. Yeah. But why I'm saying that Cardi B is not immune. She does, she's not, she's not, um, you know, immune to, to, to mistakes or to, to these types of production with samples. So we can't just put it out there and say, yeah, man, Cardi B wouldn't get past something if a sample. We can't do that because I have direct, you know, information or knowledge of something that she jumped on. Even though it was a remix she did, but she would have been caught up in the lawsuit as well. You understand? Yeah. So, sister, if it's not your work and if it's not something that your producer bought outright, before bongos, start kick up rumpus, sister Cardi B, do the right thing, reach out to Lincoln and the producer and settle the score and give them a piece of the the butter, the, the, the Puerto Rican butter. Give them a piece of the Puerto Rican butter, mama. Don't be like Nicki Minaj. Yeah? Who did Megatron and her people try to tell me that I have no claim, even though it's heads I beat they used. You see? And I had to just make my claim and put in my claim and tell them, take me to court if you don't want me to claim. Because I don't play that shit. I put in my claim. Yep. And I get my money. When them get money, me get money too. Yes, heads I beat is heads I. If you sample the beat, you sample heads I. If you sample the lyrics, you sample heads I. Just the same way in the situation. We can't say she sampled Lincoln voice, but if she sampled the beat, she sampled Lincoln. You see? You can't have one without the other. So whenever somebody samples heads I read him, you see? I'm making a claim because what? The producer, whenever they sample my lyrics, he makes a claim. And he cannot have it both ways. You see? So whenever so I already put down my foot on that. But just to let you understand what I'm saying, these major artists, sometimes out of ignorance they will sample something and they go to the wrong people or the producers lie to them and get them in problems. Same thing happened to to, to um to what are the the, the, the Margabati girl. What's your name? We should sing flowers now. What her name and what the girl name was Flower Gansu. What her name again? What the girl name is Flower Gansu. What's she name again? Miley Cyrus. It's some producers down from the islands, you know. Use that flower gun. Some writers. Some writers from down the island. They just use that we run things, things not run we. That is it. Cost her millions. We run things, things not run we. She, she get a lyric, she don't know where these words come from. She just got these lyrics. Miley Cyrus did not go into the studio knowing that she was singing. No, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't break her. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't hurt her pocket, um, Sandy. Miley Cyrus must be getting like $10 million a show. <laughs> it can't hurt her. Yeah. It just, it's just the publicity and the whole thing, you know, because these artists are prideful. They do not want to be called thieves. 
she's very prideful. You understand? So she, you see, she disappeared. It hurt. It hurt her credibility as a creator. You see, she did not know. You know, you know that. Come on, you think Miley Cyrus knew that she was stealing two lines from Flower Gun? <laughs> They would have. They, she would have said. She would have taken those lines out. You understand? She would have taken those lines out. It's just like the same thing happened with um, um, the girl who sing my milkshake bring all the and then uh, then I did it and you know what that girl name? That girl Beyonce used her sample and even though she did not own the sample or she did not own the master or the, or the whatever because she signed off to Pharrell. Beyonce just went into the studio and took it out. She said, I, I don't want this negativity. Error. Beyonce could have been like, oh, F that. You know, this is all legal. Beyonce was like, no, 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 no. These artists, um, um, Kelly's, yes, Rain. These artists, they're prideful. They don't want nobody out here saying them teeth anything. Yeah. Is it my Yep. So... Be very careful, Sister Cardi B. You see? Be very careful. Can know. Yeah. This may, may not be a good situation. Especially how you call the man dummy. Because his attorney, if, if you don't have a case, his attorney is going to present that in court and say, she actually called him a dummy. And he was stressed out and he was depressed. Because she called him a dummy. He hasn't eaten in six years. He's depressed. He, he weighed 340 pounds. Prior to this case. And he's now down to a, a, a meager 120. So be very careful. Alright. Big up on yourself. That are a piece of knowledge. One you can use to. Um, assess. The situation before you talk out of ignorance. Understand what I say? So let us watch how it develop. No? Because it will be very interesting. You see what I say? Be very interesting. And Mr. Tree, that if you have a case, don't say anything more in the media. Yeah. Don't put out no more statement. Turn it over to a lawyer. You don't need to be talking. If you if 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 you have a case, just put on your pot. And leave it. Don't say nothing else. Okay? Because you don't want them to pull the sample and then your case is weak. Because we are going to sue for infringement. You have to go say how much money it made within the short time, you know. Then I go go mediator, mediation and all them things. And the mediator go tell us if it take a little change. Blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Another, another point to Chris Brown and, a, and another artist, you know. Chris Brown sampled a girl in a tight up skirt. And they settled. They settled out of court. Well, Chris Brown, of course, he must, uh, you know, but of course, Chris Brown trusted the producer. And I guarantee you, Chris Brown was not dealing with the paperwork. Chris Brown had nothing to do with the paperwork. He just trusted the producer that all is well. Similarly with Nicki Minaj. I think Nicki Minaj, she sent over to get heads eye cleared. And um, the people that she sent to get clearance... They just said, oh, Vegas, oh, no, he's not involved. Da, 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 da. It's just the beat you're using. And somebody just said to me, so I just saw someone type, the lyrics is different from the beat. Sir, madam, whosoever you are, it's called a composition. You can't have one without the other. Furthermore, to make your point, you would have to prove that the producers in Jamaica, when anyone samples just the lyrics, they do not make a claim. I have no problem with producers not giving me anything when someone samples their beat or beats. But it's going to be a problem if you claim on my lyrics, if somebody used my lyrics or my melody, but then you do not want to give me anything when someone samples your beat that the song is on. So educate yourself on that. And that only works in Jamaica where people telling you the lyrics is different from the beat. It's all bullcrap. And I understand people are going to say it's a juggling and all of these things. Well, you know what? Pro-rate the juggling. Pro-rate it. That when somebody samples it, everybody just come on and get a little piece of the bread. So peace got a de degree, peace got a spraga, peace got a this, peace got a that. Let's pro-rate it, if that's the case. Or just do not claim anything when someone samples the lyrics or the melody from the artist. 
You see? So educate yourself on that and don't argue with me upon things where you're oblivious about. Because I study this bridging. Boom! Out of here.